Hey guys, thought it would be fun to shoot a video up here. It is <laughs> February 8th in Durham, North Carolina, and it's so freaking nice that I went to the top of the Cox Mountain Trail and just set up a hammock because you know what? It's, it's a Tuesday and I can, so screw it. Feels so good out here to just get out. But there's a topic that I thought would be kind of, I don't know, maybe some of you will find it interesting if I share it. And it's the topic of me kind of healing from the stress of my full-time teaching job. I'm getting pretty close to my three-year anniversary of the day that I quit. And I don't think I've talked about that much on this channel, but it was uh, not the most graceful or comfortable thing. I I ended up getting really stressed out and having some deep disagreements about um, the correct way to interact with the students and um, how to hold them accountable and that sort of thing. And I, I just ended up getting really stressed out and um, I was just like, well, you know what? I've already kind of hit my goal, so I'm not going to finish out the school year. And I just walked out. And that was in April of 2018, and now it's February 2021, so it's been almost three years. And But the reason I wanted to make this video is because of something that happened recently, which is when I was teaching, I was a physics and calculus teacher, and one of the tools that I used was I had a big playlist with music on it, and the students would be working in groups when the music was on, but it was kind of a signal to them um, if I wanted to get their attention and start instructing the class um, where I was the one doing all the talking, then I would cut the music and that would be the cue for them to try to wrap up whatever they were discussing in their groups. And then we can kind of, you know, get on to the part where I'm talking again. So it was just uh, kind of a nice tool that we used. And I used that for most of my teaching career. And uh, I, I always tried to make the playlist as interesting as I could. And one thing that was really neat was anytime a student got an A on a test, they were allowed to let, they, they could add two songs to the playlist. So I had this giant playlist. I think at its biggest, it got to like 1700 songs of, uh, I tried to just have the biggest variety of songs that I could find. Plus it was, um, about a third of it was songs that were contributed from students over the years. And I don't know, I thought it was a pretty cool thing, but one thing that happened toward the end of my teaching career was I didn't want to listen to those songs anymore because I associated my stress of being a teacher and all the things that came along with it with those songs. I remember if I would play that the playlist, maybe a song would come on that would remind me of a time when... Um, one of the most stressful things for me was trying to learn the students' names. And sometimes I would misremember their names or forget their names, especially if I was sleep-deprived or um, just kind of exhausted. Or, I don't know, maybe there were days where a lesson would go horribly. Like, there was a piece of equipment that I absolutely needed and I forgot to bring it to school with me. Um, or maybe there was an angry parent email that I got um, that I read 20 minutes before I got to school that day that was just kind of on my mind, like, how am I going to talk to that person? Anyway, there were just a lot of things that were stressing me out. And I remember, like, I have not listened to that playlist since I quit my teaching job because I just didn't want the feelings that were attached to those songs. I associate those songs that I once loved with stress. And wouldn't you know it, about... A week ago, I was like, you know what? Maybe it's time to move on. And I fired up that playlist for the first time in almost three years. And I have finally had enough time to heal from all of that stress and anxiety that I actually like listening to that playlist again. And it just kept bringing smiles to my face because now I just, it helps me kind of remember the good times. The, the bad times are not. I don't know. I'm not as hard on who I was three years ago as I was back in that moment three years ago, if that kind of makes sense. Like now, looking back on it, I kind of understand why I was stressed and anxious and, um, yeah, I don't know. 
now I can look back on it and I feel like I can remember the good times and the bad times with a bit more clarity um, where it, I'm not just immediately overrun with anxiety like I was when I was a little closer to it, you know? I guess it's kind of like, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. This probably isn't really the same thing, but like if you ever hear an older person telling stories about what happened during a war or something like that, it's probably a little easier to sprinkle in some humor in the story if <laughs> if all the tragic events happened like 20 years ago. You know, time kind of heals it, right? So yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm finally making some serious progress on healing from how traumatic being a full-time teacher was on me. Um, it, it was very rough. Um, like if it, <laughs> it had some good moments, but man, of, of all the worst years in my life, like teaching is definitely several of them. Like it was pretty rough. Like I honestly don't recommend it to people as a career, but anyway, I thought it might be kind of cool if I'm able, <laughs> I'm going to try to share that playlist. I have it on YouTube music and, uh, it's just, it's been very emotional and healing and pleasant for me this last week. I've just been listening to that playlist nonstop and just breathing a sigh of relief and thinking, okay, those were some rough times, but I grew out of them, you know? I'm, I'm so glad I survived that and I moved past it. And now I have a life that's more comfortable, but those uncomfortable moments, they were part of my life too. Anyway... <laughs> hopefully all this makes sense i know it sounds a bit like a therapy session but i'm gonna try to um see if i can share that playlist with you guys and um i'm, I'm you know now that i listen to it i'm a little proud of it my my goal with the playlist was to try to make every song as different from the songs that i already had as possible so <laughs> Throw it If you want to listen to it, throw it on shuffle and see if you're in agreement that it kind of bounces all over the place. But it, it was supposed to be pretty good music for, like, being in the background while you're trying to get some work done and, like, discuss stuff with other people in your group. So, anyway, I'm healing. The uh, I have not had a nightmare about teaching in a couple months now, but they, they definitely stuck around even after I wasn't a teacher anymore for several years, but... The nightmares are over, and I'm glad I have those songs back. I missed them. I didn't know I did, but I did. You know, one last thing before I go. One of the things I was the most proud of was um, we had this thing called Physics Movie Friday, where every Friday we would take a clip from an action movie, and we would just analyze it to see how realistic the you know, the scene was represented. We would just crunch the numbers and see if, see if the numbers were close to what numbers you would get in reality. And we did that every Friday. It was kind of, um, the trademark of my physics class. And, uh, I remember how sad I was at the beginning of my final year of teaching when I was like, man, this is the last time we're going to do that problem from the Terminator movie. Like, this is it. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna get to run this physics problem with a class again. I'm done. And I remember feeling a little sad about it. And you know what? I still, you know, life just has seasons, doesn't it? And like, not everything about working full time was terrible. You know, there are a handful of things that I kind of miss from it. But um, the biggest emotion that I feel is just relief and healing. I'm so glad to be where I am now. It is so much more comfortable. But I wouldn't be who I am today without some of the some of the tough moments on the journey to get to here. So anyway, <laughs> I need to throw a blanket on. I'm getting a little cold. I will catch you guys on the next one.